Hi everyone, so I had an interesting question this week about um, files that are linked into a container file where the linked files have work sets and phases and how this behaves in BIM 360. So I thought we would have a quick look at that. So the underlying principle behind this question is that we have an architectural file in which there are architectural walls as you can see them on the screen there and we've got some foundations that they created and they are slaved. So we've got a phase over here. The phase that we are seeing is new construction and the wall is a wall. Similarly the foundations are in a foundation. So all the walls there are in a wall. But the phases are different. This is in the existing and that is in the new construction. And the idea is that in the structural model we've only got the walls, no foundations. So we're going to substitute the architectural walls with the structural walls ultimately. And again these are the same phases existing for this lot and for that it's new construction and the um, work sets are a bit different in the sense this is S wall not A wall anymore and that um, then defines the work set. So these are published into the BIM 360 container in the projects folder and then they're linked in to the container file which you'll see over here. And in the container file we are playing with the worksets. So we created some 3D views on the left hand side here, you can see them. Um, and to explain them these are architectural so 3d arch is architectural there's a 3d arch it's architectural then we've got 3d structural and 3d structural so per discipline and then to show the difference in the way in which work sets are managed we are going to have a look at um, work sets that are independently manipulated or work sets that are slaved through this project or the containers work sets similarly for architectural and then with each in with within each one of those, then we've got the different phasing. So all phases, existing phases, and new phases, all existing new, all existing new, all existing new. And we'd like to see how that behaves in BIM 360. Alright, so let's have a quick look at one of these. On the arch independent, over here you can see the work sets that we've got. The work set for arch is just the architectural file being linked in. The STR work set, that's for the structural file being linked in. And then we've got the S wall and the S foundation. And the A wall and the A foundation. That's from the architectural and the structural files. All right. So let's have a look. I created a, um, a view template for these so we can see how the work sets are being manipulated. There's the work sets within the view template. And we open them up and we see that we are using within the within the file and it's just a global setting for all the work sets so if we go into the Revit links we'll see that the structural file is being custom manipulated so that the work sets that we are switching off is S foundation and S wall so we're not seeing any structural elements within this view so all we're seeing here is the architectural wall and the architectural foundation on the other side we've got oh and just to show also the different phases so there's the existing phase and there is the new phase right going on to the slaved by link work set so it's still architectural and we want to see now how this does behave when we're slaving the work set so let's just see what we mean by that if we open the view template for this one and we have a look at the work sets we'll see that immediately in the work sets ah look it's foundation is wall remember they have to be named exactly the same as the one in the in the linked file they now set to hide right and because the uh, structural file is by host view, you can actually open this, Let's keep it to by host view and have a look at the work sets and you'll see that the work sets are slaved to the project. So they'll automatically switch off. Right. So this is not something that was done to the work sets in here. They just assume the same setting as what is done within the container project. So there's two ways to do this. You can either have the same na uh, named work sets within each file and manipulate them um, slaved or otherwise independent. Similarly it's got one for the existing phase and one for the new phase and here we've got the structural work sets. So structural independent links there we're going to see in the work sets there they are 
work sets everything is on on the Revit links if we go into the architectural file now it's custom and there we'll find that the A wall is switched off remember we want to see the foundation and that's still on okay so that's going to look like a structural wall with a foundation but of course the structural wall is from the structural file and the foundation is from the architectural file again the phases there's the existing and there's the new phases all right and lastly we've got the slaved link work sets there we can see again let's have a look at the view template at the work sets there we open and we see ah wall set to hide this architectural file is by host view we open and we see it's slaved to the work set within the container model and again we've got the existing and new phases that's great next thing we have to do before we publish we have a look under the collaborate tab we're going to have a look at the publish settings and there we can see we've got all the 3d views that are selected for publish synchronize with the file and then after that we'll uh, load that up into the cloud okay so let's publish i'm going to manage the cloud models wait for that to populate Okay, now that we've got these open, we can publish the container model. Once the container model is published, we'll see that appear in the cloud. Okay, so here are all the views that were published. And you can also see versions of the um, model. So interestingly, the model publishes its versions of itself within phases there's the 3d container the new the existing and all so it creates one model for each one of the three phases let's have a quick look at them This one is showing nothing. The new phase. That's showing the new items. We've got the existing phase. And then we've got the all phase. There we go. So there's no getting away from that. It will publish these independent models. But then in addition to that, we've got the in individual 3D views that we set up. So in this one, let's have a look at the all container here in 3D Arch, the independent. So that's the one where the links work sets were changed. There we can see that looks good. Yeah, that's the architectural one. More interest to us would be the structural view because we want to see if the architectural walls were replaced with the structural walls. There they are. So that's great. Let's have a quick slice through them. And then you can see there's only one wall, and it's the structural wall. So this is the independent. Let's have a look at the slaved. There's slaved. And again, this displays correctly. Let's have a quick look inside the model. Whoopsie. That should work. Let's have a look. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And that is how the publishing of these views work. So I hope you've enjoyed the short video just showing you how to publish your, your 3D views. 
Remember, you can also now carry on with the model coordination and see where what clashes with each other. And this will be as per normal. But of course, you'll be able to clash the different phases with, with other phases if needs be. All right. Good luck until next time. And um, please let us know at Micrographics if we may be of assistance to you.